Welcome everybody. Uh, today we've got a special uh, little tutorial video for you. Um, a bit of a treat for Halloween. So if you're easily scared, uh, you're going to want to skip this video. So today we'll be making a little jack-o'-lantern, kind of like the one you see here. Um, and I'll give you a few tips and tricks along the way. Some things maybe we haven't talked about in class before. Um, so if you're feeling ambitious, you want to uh, try out something new for the holiday, uh, go ahead and watch the rest of the video and see how you can make a jack-o'-lantern. So we're going to start by creating a new document. Um, you can just call it jack-o'-lantern or whatever you want, really. So then from this uh, you know, default plane set up here, we're going to create a new sketch. Uh, you can do that on either the right or the front plane. I'm just going to do it on the front plane. Um, let's hide all of our planes real quick. Orient our view cube. And actually I'd want my right view back, or my right plane back so that I can see kind of where the center here is. So I have something to revolve around. So that's that's what I'm going to use to do that. So I'm going to create a three-point arc to start. You want it to be a little bit above the origin. Um, maybe like right there. Put your other end point down. And then you're going to select where you want that uh, center of the three-point arc to be. You want it to be pretty flat here. And then we're going to create another arc. That's kind of going this way. See how we're making our pumpkin shape, sort of. Then we're going to create a third three-point arc that goes all the way uh, to our right plane. And then again, we're going to make it so it's kind of got this nice curved shape. Okay, from here we're going to use a new tool we haven't used before. That's called the offset tool. And that's just going to allow us to offset these lines. Uh, a certain amount. We're just going to make our wall of our pumpkin pretty thin, maybe 0.5 or something. So we can click the offset tool to get out of that. And if we want to set a specific value, maybe 0.5, we can do that there. Might be a little too thick. Let's do maybe 0.35. And again, that's kind of up to your discretion. You can always go back and change it later if you want. So from here, we're just going to create some lines. And I'm going to go from this point here up to our line or up to our arc. Uh, hit escape to get out of that. And then we're going to do another line from here down to here. And notice how I kind of grayed out my shape once I did that. Then we're going to do one more line connecting from the top of our arc to the bottom of our arc. And if we want to clean this up a little bit, we can use the trim tool. So click trim, and then we can just get rid of that little line segment just to clean it up. From here, we can click the green check to finish. And I believe we can move on to the next part. So we don't need our right plane anymore. We can get rid of that, hide it. From here, we're going to use our Revolve tool, which I talked about in one of our recent videos. So Revolve, and then we're going to just revolve the kind of the uh, rind of our pumpkin, if you will. And we want our Revolve axis to be this little line here that we added. So I forgot to click on the Revolve axis section. So make sure you click on that. Otherwise, it's going to revolve your entire pumpkin. Uh, it's not going to be hollow. Here we uh, can see it turned into like a sphere or a pumpkin shape, sort of. We don't want the full pumpkin right away because we won't get those sort of sections. So let's do one direction. So you're going to select the one direction option. And let's just leave it at 30 degrees. That'll allow us to have 12 different sections. 12 times 30 will get us that full 360 degrees. And from there, we can click the green check, and you can see now we have this little slice of pumpkin. So 
So we got a decent start here. And if I were to just create 12 more sections, it's going to just look like a sphere again. So we want to kind of add um, sort of like divots uh, where those sections begin and end. So the way we're going to do that is with the fillet tool. So in a recent video, I taught you guys about the fillet. And we're going to utilize it here to create our pumpkin shape. So if you click on these edges of your pumpkin, you can click all the way top to bottom. If you want to get these ones on the bottom too, you can rotate your view a little bit. And you can do it on both sides. It can give it a kind of a different look if you only do it on one side. And it's really up to your personal preference. You're trying to get it to look how you want it to look. I'm going to keep it symmetrical here, so I'll fill it both, both sides of my uh, pumpkin slice here. And let's just click the green check to kind of finish that up. So it's still not looking like a total pumpkin yet. We've just got one section of it. So in order to get that entire pumpkin, we're going to use the circular pattern tool. And the circular pattern tool is going to be, I think, in the drop down here. So you've got linear pattern, circular pattern, and curve pattern. We want the circular pattern. And we're going to pattern this uh, pumpkin slice. Our axis is going to be that line we use to connect here. So since we can't see it, uh, we can bring it back with by making sketch one visible. So I'll do that real quick. Now I can click that line. Let's make sketch one invisible again. And you can see right now we're, our pumpkin's starting to kind of take shape. We did a 30 degree slice. Now you could do a 60 degree slice. You could do a 36 degree slice and do 10 of them. Since we did 30, in order to get 360 degrees, we need to do 12 of them. So our instance count, let's change that to 12, hit enter. And now you can see our pumpkin is really starting to take shape. So if I click the green check, that'll complete it. And you can see there, we've got a nice sort of pumpkin. So you can rotate it a little bit, see how it looks as you spin it. I think it looks pretty good. If you wanted to, you could always go back and change your fillet. Um, let's say you want to get rid of some of these edges just to see how it looks. Uh, we can try that. And it, you know, it looks a little bit different maybe not quite as severe uh, of these divots. Um, I'm gonna undo that because I kind of liked how it looked before. So there we go. I just hit the undo button. You could always try making the fillets larger. So you could change it from like 0.1 to maybe 0.3 or something. That's gonna make those much more pronounced. And again, this is really kind of your personal preference. So maybe maybe a nice middle ground like 0.15 is pretty good. So you'll notice I was going back in time sort of. And you, if you just double click any of these things, you can go back and edit them. And it will reflect uh, all the changes you've made since as well, as long as it doesn't cause any errors. So that can be kind of a nice uh, thing to do. All right, let's get moving here. So next, let's uh, create our stem. Um, and to create our stem, we're going to create a sketch on the front plane. And let's orient to our front. I think I'm going to hide. Let's hide our... Ooh, hold on. I, I messed something up. In the last step, our circular pattern, I think it was, we did new. So it's going to create a new part for every one that we uh, make in our pattern. So if we just do add and then merge with all that's going to make it all one part so that's going to it's going to look the exact same but we're going to prefer that because we can uh, interact with our pumpkin as one individual part instead of 12 different parts okay so create a new sketch on your front plane this is going to be our stem and to create our stem we're going to hide the actual part we're going to bring back sketch one though so we can kind of see where we, uh, where our pumpkin body started and ended. So from here, let's just go up and let's kind of create our stem. This we're going to revolve as well. Um, and I'm just going to go like that. 
and you'll see kind of how this works in a second. So just create like a sort of rectangle. Don't cross it over this middle line. I'm going to keep everything to one side. So that when we revolve around that axis, uh, we don't get any issues. So now we can bring back our part if we want. You can see our sketch up here. If we click revolve, and then I'm going to go ahead and hide that pumpkin again, just so we can see our revolve axis we want. There it is. And click the green check. And that looks pretty good. Let's bring back our pumpkin. You can see we've got our nice stem there. If you want, you can uh, obviously like chamfer that or uh, you could fill it it just to give it a little bit different look. It's really up to you. Again, you can be creative on this. One thing that you're noticing is doesn't really look much like a pumpkin. So if we uh, if we right click on part one, you can go to edit appearance and you can choose the color that you want. So we want to choose a nice orange color for our jack-o-lantern or maybe you want to choose a different color. It's up to you. Go with the classic look. Uh, so there's my pumpkin. I'll make the stem a different color than gray. Maybe this uh, nice brown here. Maybe this one. Pretty good. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far. So we've got our pumpkin. Now we want to actually do the jack-o-lantern portion of it. So to do that, we're going to create a new sketch on the front plane. So let's orient to our front. And from here, you're going to just sketch out uh, your carving. So you can do any number of things. I'm just going to create the classic jack-o-lantern look. So I'll create some eyes. Maybe we'll make one of them a little smaller than the other because he's a crazy, crazy jack-o-lantern guy. So I'm going to create kind of like the pupil of the eye. I'll create a, uh, a nose or something. And then uh, I'll go ahead and create a mouth. So I'll give him a nice little smile here. I'm going to trim this up a little bit. So I'll trim this and that and this and that. So that when I cut that out, it uh, doesn't cut out the wrong parts or something. Click the green check when you're happy with your sketch. And then we're going to have to hide a few things. So we want to extrude. Well, you really could just click sketch three if you want to extrude sketch three. So let's just do that so we don't have to hide anything. We're going to remove, and then uh, let's go to our isometric so we can see where we're cutting. It looks like it's going back, so I want to switch that to cutting forward. We're just going to go through all so that it cuts out through everything. Click the green check, and there you have it. There is our jack-o'-lantern. Um, one thing you'll notice is the inside of the pumpkin is orange, so it kind of can be hard to see your cutout, or it looks a little... Uh, maybe not super realistic compared to uh, what you're used to seeing on a jack-o'-lantern. So you can edit this further. So if you right-click, like you got to make sure you're clicking on the inside face of the pumpkin. So one way to do that is find a gap where you cut something out and then uh, click or right-click. You can do add, add appearance to face. If you click there, you can change it to black. And that's just going to give you a little bit better contrast on your inside of your pumpkin. Um, I'm going to angle this up so I can try to click on that uh, upper sort of face. I'll add an appearance to that, make it black, and we'll do that with our bottom face as well. We'll make that one black. There we go. So there you have it. There is your jack-o'-lantern. Um, uh, one more thing. I wanted to add a shout-out to... Learn It, Do It, Make It, who is a fellow uh, engineering teacher who has tons of videos on Onshape and tutorial videos, and they're all really great. Um, and he helped kind of inspire uh, this little tutorial that I did. So I simplified some of the things he did, but his videos are great. Go check them out and uh, subscribe to him if you like it.
All right. Thanks for watching.